Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to do an update here for Quant. So right now we're trading at $182.73. 24-hour volume, we're up 37% and market cap, we're up 11.51%. Huge, huge gains here for Quant. Such a beast. I love it. So heading over to our daily chart, I'm going to go into immediate short term for four hours as well. But take a look at how gorgeous this green candle is. At the very bottom, there's really no um, candlestick wick itself. And the volume so far, we have 147,000 trades um, coming up to considerably over bought here. We can see our RSI at 91% for our K line and our D line at 66%. So we can anticipate in the next couple of days or so that we see a crossover of our RSI initiating a sell order. But take a look again, how many day after days until, um, or starting on September 8th, the growth of um, quant, especially here through consolidation, this um, basically accumulation phase, accumulating the price, creating a lot of higher high peaks um, and a lot of lower high peaks itself. So gradually continuing to come up. So long as we're creating a, such a big distance from our 20 moving average, then we can only anticipate quant to continue coming up to our projected targets here. So obviously we smashed our target that we were looking for the previous couple of days of our videos that I was following. Now here is going to be our target of $195. If we can be able to achieve $195 before we see the crossover of the RSI, then quant is going to blow up like crazy. If we take a look at different um, platforms too, we're going to see a lot of buying um, um, buying versus selling for quant itself because the token itself is getting hot. Um, going over to our immediate short term for four hours here again, we guys, we can see this pullback. It is only natural for the price to have pullbacks itself. So don't be too scared. Don't be too wary about it. We can see at the very top here, reaching up to $188 as our projection we wanted. We were looking for short, short corrections, which we did in fact have coming down to 188 hundred and sixty one dollars coming up with this impulse again and then coming back down so it's okay for the price to have these corrections we can see this candlestick at the very top here spinning top candlesticks we've got a few spinning top candlesticks again which does show us an exhaustion of this uptrend it's only natural for the price or the market to correct itself now as the price is coming down we may see ourselves coming back down to 172 dollars and if we mirror the same impulse that we have been seeing for quant again notice the spaces in between the 20 moving average and our 50 moving average, which is only going to continue um, in the progression of quant. So again, if we were to mirror the same extension and the same pulse that we had, a few minor corrections here, we're going to do, let's say the price comes down to 170, 172 here then our projected target again is going to be at the 199. So that's only if again, we do come see if we do see really good support at the 172, because we are considered to be overbought and our momentum here is coming to kind of a pit stop almost. Um, we can see that the lines itself of our MACD indicator and our orange signal line is getting gradually closer together. So long again, they are further apart. It is going to show us a lot of momentum, a lot of strength for this bull rally. But we are going to anticipate the price coming down as again, we are considered to be overbought. Take a look at the previous action here as we were at 100% and we saw that crossover of our selling opportunity coming back down, came back down around 170 um, 127 percent of our fib chart held on to support didn't even cross over or test our 20 moving average as an area of support and then came back up so again whenever we see this crossover we are considered to be number one overbought and we are considered to have that crossover which gives us that selling opportunity for price to come back down so where i'm thinking price may come down to see an area of support is 172 and then continue up into our targets this is going to be my ultimate target here of a hundred and $99. If we take a look here, again, closer to the 195, if we can continue to push it up before we see that crossover, it is going to help us in our overall target for $200. So very, very exciting. Let me know what you guys think down below. If you enjoyed the video, smash the like button. Also, if you're new, subscribe to the channel, but I'll see you next time. Bye.